Hi, it's Sandy from Sandy Beach Bum. I have uh, mixed up the ingredients to make another resin splash bowl like number six. I'm going to change this one a little by doing both layers at the same time and also adding some ground glass. I'm using art resin tinted with Bombay ink in aqua. I'll be using these crushed pieces of glass that I got a long time ago at Pier 1. I've mixed up uh, how much here? Almost two ounces of sand and resin. Sand that I got from the beaches of the Caribbean, the same as the previous. I've mixed up uh, an ounce and a half of two drops of aqua in the resin and then the remainder is in here with one drop of aqua res or one drop of um, of ink did I say drops of resin two drops of aqua ink in the resin one drop of aqua ink in the resin I started out with two cups so I made two cups because I'm doing two of these. I'm gonna make them exactly the same on this big plate. I've got one here and I've got one over there because I have limited room in my kitchen. So I'm only gonna be filming doing one, but I'm doing exactly the same thing with both. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm starting with the sand, putting that in the middle. Spreading it out a little, just because I want it to look like it's been splashed. I'm doing it about the size of the bottom of the bottle that I'll be shaping it over, plus some so that it comes up the sides a little and you can see it on the side of the vase when it's finished. All right, now I'm going to pour a little bit of this over top and around. And then around the outside, just a little bit. Now I'm going to pour this around the outside. I want to pour half of it, so I'm going to pour just a little more than a, I'm just under a cup because, or just over a cup because, oh, I don't know what I'm saying here. Um, because I already used a little bit, so just less, a little bit less than a cup on here. All right. Looks like there's a hair in there. That's not great. Let's get it out. Oh, it's underneath the plastic. Okay, well, that's fine. All right, now I'm just going to take this and spread this out a little bit. This watery color, the darker color, just a little bit into the A little bit more right here. Okay, now I'm going to go repeat the exact same thing on the other side. 
Okay, so they're both poured. I've added the glass around the edge and a few of the crystals in the middle. And now I'm just torching out any more uh, bubbles, which there were quite a lot of, especially around the sand. These are the crystals. Um, they're just tiny little crystals. There's uh, about there's about 60,000 in here. Um, and they give the illusion of bubbles, small bubbles, and also some sparkle, which I love. Okay, we're ready to get started here. I've taped this Ikea bottle to this vase. The reason why I like using this vase is it goes out a little, so it helps the piece stretch out a little instead of falling flat. And then I've put it on a much taller thing than I had it on this morning because I feel like it's gonna drip quite a bit and the plastic seems bigger, some of it. So the piece is over here because I don't have enough room to have it all here. So I'm gonna gather it up and bring it over. Okay, so it's been three hours. So enough time that this should now be able to drip just the right amount without running too much it should be perfect okay it's a little bit further over on one side than the other I'm just gonna move it over a little bit there Okay, so then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put a piece of plastic over this and then put the second one on top. Okay, here's my second piece of plastic. I'm just gonna lay this on top like that. And then I'm gonna drop the next one on. Okay, now I'm gonna put the second one on. This allows me to shape this one a little bit without it sticking to the one underneath. All right, that's it. So we'll leave it till tomorrow morning and hopefully it all goes great. Okay, so this nearly turned out to be a complete disaster. I uh, was sitting in the living room while this was drying, which is just right there, and I could hear lumps of this falling off and, and hitting the countertop. And it was the pieces of glass falling off with the resin. And it, if you look at the carefully, um, at the previous little bit where I went to go get the second layer, you can already see some glasses slipping and falling off. So a lot of it ended up puddled around the bottom. And as I came over to see the progress and saw that, I was instantly like, oh, this is gonna be garbage. I'll be throwing this one away. But I let it dry anyway, and I peeled it all off. And then I thought, you know what? This is like kind of looking amazing. So maybe I'll just let it cure and see what happens. And oh my gosh, it's fabulous. Look at this. You get rid of the bottle. Now, one of the problems with this is that it's got a rounded base. I didn't flatten it, and so it's wobbly. So I will have to pour a, um, a base for this. And I, I've got some coming. I, don't, I have the little Petri dish base, which is round, but I've ordered some that are jagged, and I think because this is so jagged, that the base needs to be jagged as well. A round, smooth base would just not look right. So I'm gonna have to wait, and they're not coming till sometime in April, I think. It's a shipment probably from China. I don't know where, but it's taking a long time. So yeah, so you can see it's very unstable. But look at it. I mean, 
and it reminds me of the ice queen or something it's just fantastic so it needs a little bit more time upside down because these are still a little bit bendy and I don't want them to flop out I want them to stay fairly upright like that so I'm going to put it back on the bottle but I wanted to finish this video and get it posted so I wanted to show it to you so don't ever throw something away thinking that it's not going to be any good. Let it cure, get it off the plastic, and see what it ends up looking like. Because this, seriously, I was going to throw away. I was like, well, that's a lot of resin wasted, two cups of resin. But I've been lucky so far. A lot of people have talked about trial and error and stuff ending up in the garbage. And I've had nothing that had to go in the garbage. I've been so fortunate. So I was like, okay, well, I guess, you know, everybody's got to pay their dues. This is my my bad one that's going to go in the trash. But, oh, no, no, no. It's stunning. And it's really tall. I sent a picture of it to my daughter today. She's like, man, Mom, they're getting bigger and bigger. And I was like, yeah, it wasn't supposed to, but I'm glad it did. And I've uh, poured a second one that was supposed to look like the one before. And, again, I've upended it too soon, so that has run a lot. Not as much as this one, but it's still run a lot. And I've only done one layer, so I'm gonna pour the second layer and put it over. And again, I didn't videotape it because it's exactly the same as bowl number six, but it isn't turning out the same as bowl number six because I keep turning them upside down too soon. And I'm not sure, I think maybe because it's been raining the last two days, the stuff is taking longer to cure. Um, also, I forgot that I let it set up 20 minutes before I poured it the first time and I didn't. So that's an extra 20 minutes of curing the bowl didn't get, which could have made all the difference. So the I'll post a picture of the second bowl at the end of this video so you can see what it turned out like. But I, oh see, this is why it needs to spend more time upside down because that's still too soft. But I'm so happy with this. The bowl still needs a base and some seashells and a starfish inside, sealed with a clear resin pour. The mold for the base isn't due to arrive until late April to early May. So once I have it, I'll post a short video where I complete it. And here is the bowl I mentioned earlier in this video. It was supposed to be a replica of number six, Tide, Pool, Splash. But as you can see, it ran a lot more, so it looks completely different. 